hello everyone this is jatin from gladtutor.com and today we are going to talk about the codification of overheads which include its meaning objectives merits and methods so this is the part 12 of our cost accounting series to watch our previous video regarding reconciliation of cost and financial accounts or if you want to check our complete cost accounting series then you can check out uh, the links in the description i have put the links there or if you are new to our channel then after watching this video then you can uh, subscribe our channel if you like the video uh, or make sure you turn on, turn on the bell icon so that in future if we upload any video regarding cost accounting or any other management subject you will be notified so without wasting so much time let's get started so firstly we will start with the meaning of codification of overheads so basically codification of overheads refers to the process of assigning the production items by numbers decimals groups subgroups so basically it is uh, done to easily identify the different production items so normally before what uh, we do like it is represented in simply numerically or alphabetically terms in some situations they also represent in decimals or alphanumeric words so codification is basically just to give the representation to the production items so that it will be easy to understand remember and identify so i hope the meaning of codification of overhead is now clear to you so let's move to the objectives of of uh, codification of overheads so the first objective of codification of overhead is to help in grouping the similar overhead items for easy identification and apportionment so the basic uh, idea of uh, codification of overhead is to easily identify so it helps in gro uh, grouping the similar overhead items so that we can easily apportionment uh, apportion all the items and also we can easily identify reduce the burden of handling a large number of overhead account uh, to complete to have a complete check and analysis of all the overhead items in term of comparison improvement and control purposes so when we have a different uh, representation of production items then we can easily uh, analyze uh, analyze all the items in term of their improvements comparison it also helps for allocation and apportionment of overheads of the departments or the cost center and results so we have also uh, make a video regarding big uh, detailed video of allocation uh, allocation and apportionment of overheads you uh, you have you guys are already seeing the uh, upper eye button you can check it out and the next objective of uh, codification of overhead is that for big enterprises it helps in managing the task of machine accounting system so this is all about the uh, objectives of co codification of overhead now let's move to the essential or requirements of the codification of overhead the codification of overhead system should be firstly easy to understand uh, so that everyone can easily understand the production items easy to remember the representation of code should be concise it, it shouldn't be long uh, uh, long words or looking long codes it should be concise and helps in easy identification it should be flexible and different provisions for the new production items it should fulfill the requirement as per the as per mentioned in the schedule 6 of the companies act and it should be according to the company's requirement it should not be uh, done according to the previous uh, whatever is going on before so it should be made according to the company requirement it should not be this as a it should not be make as a hard and fast rule there should not be any fixed um, rule regarding the codification of overhead it should be customized as per the company requirement and it should be divided into different portions also so now come to the main uh, topic of our video that is methods of codification of overhead so basically there are three methods of co codification of overhead the number one method is numerical coding method under this method the codes are assigned in the form of numbers to the overhead item for example indirect labor is assigned by 200 stationary charges are assigned by 400 maintenance are assigned by 50 so in this method we assign the production items by just number decimal coding method in this decimal coding method members uh, sorry numbers assign the main group and the decimal assign the subgroup for example if i say that the uh, factory overhead is, is assigned by one and in factory overhead there are so many things like indirect materials repairs oils so then that will be assigned by the 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 respectively 
The third method is codes with the combination of number and alphabets. In this method, the codes are assigned for the combination of uh, both numbers and alphabet. For example, R represent the repairs, right? And if I talk about the repairs for machinery, it will be R1. For the repairs of cars, it will be R2. Repairs for equipment, R3. For plant, R4. So this method uh, comprises of both the combination of uh, numbers and alphabets. Now come to the merits of co codification of overheads. Why people choose codification in their overheads? What is the benefit of uh, applying the same? So first one is it helps in removing the complexity of learning the long description of production items and uh, it also lessens the duplication of production items and minimizing the number of units and it helps in allocation and apportionment. This is a very valid point of different cost uh, to different cost units and centers. It helps in controlling the cost of all the group group of production items. So this is these are the four uh, main benefits or you can say the merits of the codification of overheads and these play 